Hello LEGO fans, welcome to this week's um, Sunday morning builds with Bricks and Tech and we are doing set number 40391 First Order Stormtrooper Brick Sketches. This we are doing because it is the May the 1st and so therefore May the 4th will be later this week. So in celebration of Star Wars Day, we are doing this Star Wars character. The Stormtrooper character. 151 pieces in this set. It's a great looking set. It will be the second of the brick sketches that I have done. The previous one being Batman. And so, open this up and see what's inside. A couple of bags, the instructions. And there we have it. And then the frame itself. Quite a straightforward build, 151 pieces, um, maybe a 15 minute build as I experienced last time. Do like the set, I think it depicts the uh, Stormtrooper really well. Will be a speed build, uh, and if you like this content, please like and subscribe. So time to get into the speed build and then come back for the review. Hope to see you soon. First Order Stormtrooper of the Brick Sketches. So what these sketches are really good for is learning layering technique. They are really, they, they come to life through through the layering of, of the plates because um, apart from the, the frame, so to speak, you don't really have any bricks. They're all, they're all plates. And so I think that's what this set these sets, all these brick sketches sets are really good for, is learning different layering technique. And the one thing that stood out for me in this build, I, I did enjoy this build a bit more than the Batman build. Um, and the one thing that stood out to me was the use of the, um, I'm not sure, it's a, it's a hinge, it's a hinge plate. If I can, oh, still going down. And that hinge plate allows this part here to move, but creates that angle. So if I can take an, another layer off. This hinge, hinge plate allows this piece to move, which then allows you to create this angle, which was really, really good part usage, I would suggest as what the experts say, good use part usage. So here you have this hinge that can turn quite a bit. That goes in here, creates that angle, which is shut off by another angle piece. So it makes that nice and smooth. Then that can go on top. And there's a little bit of movement, but it's not there for movement. It's there to create the effect, that angled effect, which I think has uh, really stood out to me during this build, which is what I didn't get in the Batman build. But uh, in this one, I think it worked extremely well. The other thing is the use of these um, single point plates. I don't know if you can see that these single point plates, which create an offset. And so in this particular build, when I put this piece on top, it creates an offset so it doesn't quite align because of the black, you can't really see it, but it doesn't butt up against the piece, up against it, and there's not quite, oh, there's not quite a stud width in there. But what happens is when, oh, better layer that properly, when you add these pieces back on, 
it creates this gap between the two white pieces so the black really shines through. So a really enjoyable set to build actually. I, I took a fair bit from this. Some more layering techniques, the use of the hinge brick, and then the offset piece as well. So there we have it. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll be back in future weeks with more builds. See what we've done, a couple of brick sketches now. Don't have any new brick heads coming out for some time. So we'll see uh, what else I can, uh, I can bring to Sunday morning builds. So for now, hope you've enjoyed this build and uh, have a good week. Bye-bye.